Shabbat Shalom, I'm Yeshabala. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Recha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the Ophlet Akim that preached the word in all truth and sincerity. I launched the Israelite foreigner brothers that light the heathens. But the line of false side goes back to the nation of Israel, which nation of Israel are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans through the prophecies and curses of Deuteronomy 28 chapter and throughout the Bible. So this is Brother Yakal, a month back a lesson, and um, today's lesson will be entitled, The Lord is Good Unto Them That Wait For Him. I was going to go on some precepts and a uh, little one, you brothers and you sisters out there, be edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shimon Shai. You know, and um, I'm going to start off with the book of Lamentations, chapter 3, and verse 25. You know, the book of Lamentations uh, was written by the prophet Jeremiah. You know, um, you know he uh, Jeremiah, he had um, eyewitnessed the account of uh, the southern kingdom, um, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, uh, being conquered by the Babylonians, you know, led by Nebuchadnezzar II, you know, and um, he had, you know, he had seen what, you know, the low condition that his people went through, you know, besides the famine, you know, uh, temple, seeing the temple being burned, the first temple that was made by King Solomon, you know, and um, and many other things, you know, so, um, so let's let's begin. Uh, Lamentation three and twenty five. It says, "The Lord Yahweh is good unto them that wait for Him, to the soul that seek of Him." Right, man. You know, which this only applies to the elect. You know, because you know the elect are going to be the only individuals on earth that's going to wait upon Yahweh by Shimon Shai. You know, and He's good unto His elect because you know He grants them um, a hedge of protection. You know, while waiting on Him. You know, and the elect are constantly seeking after their soul. The elect souls are constantly seeking after Yahweh Bashimon Shai, you know, by way of this knowledge, you know, uh, teaching this truth, you know, going out on the highways and byways week in, week out, you know, uh, praying to Yahweh Bashimon Shai, you know, being the best brother that they can, you know, so. You know, Yahweh Bashimon Shai is good unto the elect that wait for him. You know, because that's the thing. That's the hardest part in this truth is waiting. You know, and that's why um, by us being in this truth, we got to we we must develop. You know, uh, uh, patience. You know, but uh, let's define our word. Uh, um, uh, I don't think it's not in there. Uh, I was gonna look at that word wait. Oh, let's see, it could be right here. Yeah, uh, from the Hebrew word kawa, kawa, which means to wait, look for, hope, expect. You know, it says to wait or look eagerly for. You know, because once our Lord Yahweh Shai comes back, you know He's gonna solve all our problems. The kingdom of heaven is the answer to all our problems that we go through in in America. You know, because we going through nothing but us being here in captivity, you know, we experience nothing but the curses. You know, so when our Lord Yahweh Shai comes back, he's going to reverse that into the blessings. You know, and that's what we're waiting and looking eagerly for our Lord Yahweh Shai's second coming. You know, but while waiting on him, we, we watch and look for the prophecies as well. You see? So, let's uh, read the second, uh, twenty six. It says, it is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord Yahweh, man. You know, so the scriptures promote, you know, waiting, having hope, having faith, you know. Because when we first came in the truth, you know, we thought the Lord was going to come back next week. You know, but, you know, um, you know, years went by, you know, months, you know, and the Lord haven't came back. But that's why, you know, we still got to have. That fervent spirit, man, in order to serve the Lord until the end, we have to endure until the end, you know. And that's and that's what our Lord, um, Yahweh Shai has said: He that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And I just get that real quick. Uh, Matthew twenty-four and verse thirteen, 
And it reads, but he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Right. So, you know, this only applies to the elect. Only the elect is going to endure to the end and they're going to be saved, you know, by our Lord Yahweh Shai. You see? And, you know, even King David, you know, said, wait on the Lord, you know, because Psalm 27, a Psalm of David, when you go down in the last verse, it says, wait on the Lord Yahweh, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart, our mind. And the, and the Lord has did that, you know, by have a, have, um, having us know, you know, the prophecies, you know, and strengthening our mind uh, with that mental fortitude, man, you know. Because uh, that's a trait of a, of a masculine man, a real man, is integrity, you know, having, a, uh, being strong mentally, you know, and waiting, having patience. You see, it says, wait, I say, on the Lord Yahweh, man. So, yeah, we have to wait on the Lord until he rises to the prey, you know, until he judges all our adversaries, man, because we want the Lord to avenge us on all our adversaries that have done us wrong. You know, starting off with the heathen nations, beginning on with Esau, Edom, and also two thirds of our people as well too. You know, because they are enemies, and because they don't want to repent, and if they are in the truth, they you know, because it's two thirds in the truth as well. You know, um, if they are in the truth, they pushing uh, um, false doctrine. You know, and they're not too. Uh, someone may teach the true names, but they're not teaching you know the correct doctrine. You know, you have sex on the Shabbat. You know, we can. Poppy woman in the in the in the anus and you know uh, east uh, uh, now as of, uh, now as of late you know uh, salvation is for heathen nations you know so things like that you know a lot of you know Israelites they they're wicked for that you know for pushing false doctrine and they won't be destroyed for that unless they repent and part of the elect but this is F nine three and eight it says therefore wait ye upon me save the Lord until the day that I rise up to the prey. Yeah, so, you know, we have to wait upon the Lord because, you know, we can't take vengeance in our own hands. You know, the scriptures talk about he that avenges himself shall be avenged of the Lord. You know, so the Lord the Lord can do far more superior damage than us. You know, so the Lord can <laughs> make people feel it, man. So we're going to wait up to, until the Lord, till he judge our, our, our enemies, our adversaries. It says, from our determination is to gather the nations, you know, and the Lord is gathering the heathen nations in the valley of Jehoshaphat over there in the Middle East by the Euphrates River, you know, because that's, according to prophecy, that's where World War Three is going to start. It's going to brew up at, and we're seeing, we're seeing it now. A lot of tension is, is going on over there, you know, with the Hamas and Israel war, you know, so on and so forth. But it says that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour out to pour upon them my indignation. Indignation means righteous anger. It's a, you know, because the Lord is angry at these heathens for what they did to his people. But also angry at two-thirds of his own people because they don't want to repent, which he put the spirit on to repent uh, in the first place. It says, even all my fierce anger for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Yeah, and uh, it's talking about, you know, the lake of fire, the second death. You know, the Lord's going to burn this place, America, you know, by way of uh, the ICBM missiles, you know. So this this World War Three will be a nuclear war, and this kingdom will be destroyed by the ICBM missiles that's going to come from, you know, various countries outside of the West, Western Hemisphere, you know, America, such as, you know, Russia, Iran, China, North Korea, you know, uh, Iran, if I didn't say that already, so on and so forth, you see, so, um, let's go, so, so yeah, so we gotta wait until the Lord, wait for the Lord until he judged our, our, uh, these heathens, man, for us, and Yahweh Shah is gonna do that when he come back, uh, James 5 and 7, it says, be patient, therefore, brethren, to the coming of the Lord, behold the husband man, you know, the husband man is a farmer, um, waited for the precious fruit of the earth, and had long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. Yeah, so the farmer, when he, you know, when he plants his fruit in the earth, when he plants the seeds in the earth for his fruit to grow, you know, he have long patience for it, you know, because, you know, growing fruit, growing your produce, it doesn't, that don't, 
that's not an all right that's not an overnight um process it's, it take you know take years you know so the same so uh apostle james is comparing um the f have the patience of a farmer to the patience that we have to have in the faith as well you know so we have to wait we have to have that patience and patience means to suffer so you know, in the scriptures to speak about, you know, we have to suffer for your how shall I say? Um Philippians one twenty nine says, For unto you it is given in behalf of your shy, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. Yeah, so it's not only um a demand commander uh commander of us to only to believe in our Lord Yahweh Shai, but we all we have to suffer for his sake. You know, you know, we have to suffer being hated, you know, being talked about, being scoffed at on the highways and byways. You know, we have to we have to bear these things, you know. But, you know, the scriptures say honor um before honor is humility, so low willing and party elect, we're gonna we're gonna get honor in the latter end because right now we're suffering humility and ultimately, you know, that humility is gonna come ultimately through way of persecution. You know, because Esau is gonna really deceive the masses of the people to really believe that we are the, uh, we are the reason why all these things are going on, on the earth. You know, it's really the Lord's bringing the judgments and the prophecies to the past. You know, but you know we know the devil never plays fair. But uh, going back to James five and uh, verse eight, uh, verse eight, it says, so yeah, so um, and have so you yeah, just want to get and have long patience for it. The latter of verse seven. Until he received the early and latter rain. So, yeah, so, you know, patience means to suffer. So, you know, we're suffering, you know, um, while waiting on our Lord, Yahweh shall to come back. Uh, verse 8, it says, Be also patient, establish your hearts, for the coming of the Lord draw nigh, man. So, yeah, so we have to be patient, man, you know, and and, and establish the heart, man, you know, uh, we have to have, uh, we have to gain a, a strong mind in this faith, you know, to our Lord Yahweh, you know, make a second coming, you know. But, hey, the Lord's good unto us, man, because, you know, he, he you know, he, uh, he grant, while being the truth, he grants us a hedge, protects the man. But, in order to have that hedge, you know, we got to have works, you know, and, um, Psalms 34 and 7, the angel of the Lord Yahweh and camp around about them, not fear him and deliver them. So that's that hedge of protection. So that's the good that the Lord does for us. Because there are many benefits in serving the Lord. You know, one of them is this, you know, having a hedge of protection. You know, and we definitely need this right now and coming to Jacob's trouble because, you know, right now people, you know, you see spirits on these people is, is getting more evil or demonic. You know, Jake is getting more darker, you know, so we definitely going to need that hedge, man. You know, and we have to pray to Yahweh Bashmoshah for the things that, you know, he protects us from, from the unseen and the seen, man. You know, so, you know, the Lord is good unto those that wait for him, man. You know, so, so yeah, I just want to make a lesson that, you know, Lord willing, I will and uh, until next time. Shalom.